So do you even need an external DAC to listen to lossless audio on your Mac? Let's talk about it. How's it going y'all? It is Ben Aqua and I am officially obsessed with the M1 machines from Apple. This one in particular is my baby. This is the MacBook Air M1 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. This is the gold color and I think it's absolutely beautiful, super fast, etc, etc, etc. But let's talk about Apple Music lossless audio. So to catch you up, lossless audio dropped in Apple Music as a free upgrade for Apple Music subscribers. And basically lossless audio is a really high quality type of audio compression where you basically hear things better than CD quality. But there are a few caveats because you can't listen to lossless audio through Bluetooth headphones, so you need a pair of wired headphones such as these, which are the FIO FH3. These are my favorite IEMs to listen to lossless audio. So you need that pair of wired headphones, but you also need a DAC, a digital to analog converter to literally convert the digital audio signal to an analog signal so you can hear it in your wired headphones. DACs are usually an external machine that you plug into your Mac using USB. For example, here is the FIO BTR5, which is my favorite DAC. So basically you take your DAC, you plug it into the USB port, in your computer and then you plug your headphones into the DAC and turn the DAC on and then you have really beautiful lossless audio sound. But check this out, hear me out y'all. So the MacBook Air M1 as well as the other M1 Max all have a headphone jack and usually these are not the best quality on a lot of machines. But I was doing some research on this headphone jack and a lot of people are actually saying that the headphone jack on the M1 Max and even some Macs from the last few years like the MacBook Pro, the iMac, etc. These headphone jacks are actually really high quality. So to put it to the test, I plugged my headphones into this little headphone jack on my MacBook Air. And I did some comparisons to the high-res DAC. And to be honest, I couldn't really hear that much of a difference, if any at all, between this $129 DAC, the BTR5, and the headphone jack on my MacBook Air M1. And I also did this test on my Mac Mini M1, and I found the same results to be true. I really couldn't hear that much of a difference in the audio fidelity, in the audio quality between the headphone jack on these machines and an external DAC. This might be because the BTR5, for example, is not the most high-end DAC out there. You know, there are much more expensive DACs that go into the thousands of dollars, but this one I love because it's so cute, it's so portable, and I love that I can just plug this into my Mac, plug some headphones into it, and have the most beautiful sound that I thought was the most beautiful sound on a budget until I tried plugging the headphones just straight up into the external headphone jack. So here's a quick tutorial on how to actually get high-res audio from your headphone jack on your Mac. So first of all, you want to plug your headphones into the headphone jack on the side of your Mac. And once your headphones are plugged in, do a spotlight search for something called audio MIDI setup. And then once you open that up, look to the left and you'll see something called external headphones. So click on that. And then you'll see over here, it says external headphones is the source. And then the format says 96 kilohertz, two channel, 32 bit float. When you first plug the headphones in, it might actually default to 48,000 hertz. Sometimes it'll even be 44,100 hertz. And the quick thing to do right here is just press on 96,000 hertz, which basically allows your headphones to give you a 96,000 hertz or 96 kilohertz audio feed with a bit rate of 32 bits. So with a 32 bit 96 kilohertz signal, you're actually enabling lossless audio on your Mac to pump out a high res audio signal. It doesn't go all the way up to that 192 kilohertz that Apple Music Lossless actually supports at its maximum, but 96 kilohertz is amazing. And honestly, after even 48 kilohertz, I personally can't even tell a difference between high-res lossless and lossless audio. And another thing to do is when you're in Apple Music, of course, you wanna make sure that Apple Music is actually giving you a lossless audio signal. So you go into your Apple Music preferences, click on playback, and then down here, you can see lossless audio is checked. And then for streaming, you make sure that this says at least lossless. I have it checked on high resolution lossless and then you just press OK, and then your music in Apple Music should be a lossless audio signal. So now that your headphones are plugged into your Mac, how does it actually sound 
compared to a dedicated DAC such as the BTR5. In the MacBook Air M1, I think the headphone jack sounds amazing. It sounds really full, it sounds really lush. There's plenty of details in the trebles and I wouldn't say it is the most crispy like with every single little like sparkly treble in the cymbals and sometimes in the in like panning kind of trebly sibilance that you might hear in music. There's plenty of detail though in the bass, the mids, and in the trebles using the headphone jack. And the bass to me sounds nice and clear. It sounds nice and punchy and full. And then even in the mid bass range where you hear some drums, where you hear some bass lines, some low end guitars or synthesizers and stuff, even some vocals, they sound nice and lush. I couldn't find a definitive answer on what the actual DAC is inside of the MacBook Air M1 or the other M1 Max, but to me, the headphone jack sounds amazing. The headphone jack also, to me, provides plenty of power for these IEMs. Like, I really only have to have my volume up to maybe three little bars on my Mac just to be able to hear really, really loud and crisp audio. So there's plenty of power coming out of the headphone jack. Again, I don't know the actual specifications behind that, but to me, it sounds amazing. It sounds nice and full. And I would say that the one kind of critique that I have using the headphone jack DAC versus the BTR5 is the BTR5 seems to handle the mid to low range a little bit better than the headphone jack, in my opinion, on the MacBook Air M1. The BTR5 just sounds a little more smooth. It's not quite as pronounced, at least using the default EQ, and you can actually go into an app and change the EQ in the BTR5. Whereas using the MacBook Air headphone jack, it sounds a little bit sometimes too beefy, a little too chunky, and a tiny bit unnatural when it comes to the mid bass kind of thickness. But for most people, I think the headphone jack on the MacBook Air M1 is going to be a huge crowd pleaser. And honestly, most of the time, I actually prefer to just use the headphone jack when I'm mixing my own music. And by the way, if you're looking for some new sweet jams for your music library, check out my music on Apple Music and Spotify by searching for Ben Aqua. I make all kinds of weird electronic and pop music, so I really appreciate your stream share all my stuff with your friends, you are amazing. But yeah, the best thing about the headphone jack on the MacBook Air M1 is that it's actually incredibly convenient in addition to providing a really high quality audio sound for lossless audio. The convenience is awesome because you just plug headphones into your computer and then go into audio MIDI setup, select 96 kilohertz, and then you're good to go for listening to lossless audio in high res on your Mac. You don't have to mess with an extra DAC. You don't have to have an extra dongle just to plug the DAC into your Mac if you need to. It's just plug and play using the headphone jack and it's the easiest way, I think, to get lossless audio on your Mac. So hopefully this was helpful for all of you who are kind of mystified and maybe kind of confused about how to listen to lossless audio on your Mac. I really think you can just use your headphone jack and get away with it. But let me know what you think in the comments if you have tried the headphone jack on the Mac. Do you actually use an external DAC on your Mac? This is turning into a wrap. Or do you just plug your headphones into the headphone jack on your computer and just call it a day? Let me know down in the comments below. I love to see y'all down there. If you found this video entertaining and maybe a little bit useful, please smash that like button. It really helps me out in the algorithm. And of course, subscribe if you're not already. My name is Ben Aqua. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.